to my channel. Today we are doing an ab workout that's really going to target your core, especially if you've had trouble with activating your core and your abs. Today's exercises are really going to focus on that mind-muscle connection and it's going to be a burner. This workout is also part of the 21 day tiny waist challenge. It's a free challenge. It's essentially a three week workout plan. You just got to sign up with your email down below. You get a calendar email right to you along with the links to each workout that you're going to do on each day. So I also have a whole video on information on that challenge if you want to join. If you don't want to do the challenge, you can just do this workout along with me. It's going to be a tight workout. We're going to be doing eight exercises for one minute on rest and 20 seconds in between. There's not going to be any music in this video, so go ahead and play your own music or just listen to me because I'll be talking you through it. And let's get started. We're going to start off with doing one minute of dead bug. This is great to really engage that mind-muscle connection with your abs. So we're going to start here. You're going to lower opposite hand to opposite knee. Bring it back other side. So here make sure your back is flat on the ground. So try not to arch it too much like this. Really pull your hips up so that it's flat. This one does take a little bit of a focus <laughs> because you really have to coordinate the opposite arm to the opposite leg. But it's a good thing because it really makes sure we are thinking and targeting our abs. Keep going, let's go. Make sure you're forming a 90 degree angle here at the hips and at the knees. All right, now we're gonna rest 20 seconds. Whew. Up next, we have got a butterfly Crunch. So it's like doing a regular crunch, but your legs are going to be in this open position here. This is great because it eliminates the use of our hip flexor. So a lot of the times when we're doing ab exercises, we're using our thighs. This helps eliminate that option. So you're going to crunch up, back down. Go nice and slow here. If you need to put blocks or pillows under your knees to support them, you can do that. And again, we're really focused on going slow here. Making sure we're really using our abs. Crunch up. Try to lift your back off the floor. You can also put your hands in between here. Make sure you look up instead of down so that you're not straining your neck. Go nice and slow. <sighs> All right, catch your breath. Next up, we are holding a plank for a minute. It seems difficult <laughs> to a lot of people, but if you need to come down for a few seconds, you can do that. You can also hold the plank on your arms rather than your elbows, it's totally up to you. I'll be alternating between them. So, oh my God, for you. <laughs> so make sure you hold the plank here. So when you're doing a plank, make sure your back is straight from your neck all the way down to your tailbone. So we're not arching like this, we're not rounding like this, we're really staying strong here. Engage your core. Make sure your tailbone is tucked in. So you should be making an ugly butt here. No cute butts like this. I'm going to go ahead and get down on my elbows now. Let's go. Keep going. Our whole bodies are on fire. Keep holding. Let's go. Keep going. You can do it. Don't drop. Ooh. When you feel like dropping, get back up to your hands. Ooh, look at that. That was a whole minute and it went by like this. Next, we're doing a spark crunch. 
I love this one. It's so much fun, but it's also pretty hard. So prepare yourself. <laughs> so if you're gonna start off in this position, legs off the ground, you're gonna bring your uh, legs in to set your heels, come back out. So you're gonna stay in this kind of hollow boat position the whole time. And again, if you need to make sure that your back is flat on the ground, put your hips up and then lay them back down flat. So go in and up. Let's go, keep going. Oof. Oh, some burns. Oof. If you feel a bit of tension in your neck, you can bring it down for a little bit. Come back up. Really focus on using your core oh, to lift your upper body up. Oh my gosh. Let's go, keep going. Hey guys, stop fighting. Stop, stop it. Kids. Next we've got bike crunch with hold. So it's like a regular bicycle crunch, but you're gonna make sure you hold in that position to really keep the tension in the abs. So twist and switch. So we're not really going for speed here. It's better to do, you know, 20 slow and controlled reps than like 50 uncontrolled reps where you're just using every muscle except for your core. Oh wow, it's hard to talk and exercise at the same time. Let's go, keep going. We got this. Let's go, keep going. I have no idea how much time is left in the timer, but whoo, 15 seconds. Let's go. Let's go, keep pushing. We're almost done with this workout. Our abs are gonna be popping. It's gonna feel so good. What's next? Bear crawl with knee taps. This is such a good exercise. This fires up your whole core, just makes you just stronger. So in a bear crawl position, you're gonna be on hands and knees, and you're gonna lift your knees about two inches off the ground. So you're gonna tap the opposite knee and switch. Your hands should be right underneath your shoulders. Or just off my shoulder. So the trick here in this position is to try to sway to the side as little as possible. I know it's impossible to be completely still, like I still sway a little bit, but just try your best. Just make sure you're not doing that, okay? Keep going. You should feel it in your legs as well, but make sure you really squeeze your abs to make sure you're really using your core for this. Keep going, let's go. Oh, there you go, there's the timer. 
whatever. Now we are doing the absolute last exercise. What? This one is a crunch twist. So for this one, we are going to do it a little bit faster, not super slow. You can take breaks as needed for this one, but just get right back on it when you can. So legs up like this. You're going to twist from one side to the other. If this is too difficult or you feel like you're using your flexors too much, you can lightly tap your feet on the ground. Make sure you lean back enough so that your abs are engaged. So if you're too forward, it's not going to be doing anything. So lean back and twist. Thirty seconds left. Whew. Let's go. Get those legs up. Twist from side to side. Oh my gosh. Let's go. Ten seconds left in the whole workout. Push yourself. Whew. We got this. to do for the rest of the week. The information to sign up is in my description or if you just gave this workout to try and now it's part of the challenge and you enjoyed it, please let me know in the comments section below and I will see you guys next time.